We've just come from a meeting of the Strathcona Regional District where there were two presentations, one about the, move to, the need to move towards closed containment for fish farms and the other about uh, independent power production. Scott? Yeah, I noticed uh, that uh, we're looking for the Strathcona Regional District to, uh, to, uh, to provide a resolution, formal resolution, uh, for the provincial government to finally come on board and support uh, research towards closed containment, something that they've refused to do, and something that was uh, uh, clearly uh, recommended in the Sustainable Agriculture Committee's uh, work. And uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's the work of the uh, NGOs and regional districts that have to try to push this government, the Campbell government, to do the right thing and protect the marine environment for all of our benefit. And on the independent power production, it was a presentation by Plutonic Power to the regional district. The regional district has already called for a moratorium on the development of independent power projects. Uh, a couple of weeks ago they pushed that through their board. Uh, this was by Plutonic, which is going to have a massive impact on the pristine wilderness of Toba, Montrose and possibly Butte Inlets if they move forward with their private power projects. It's not possible for a private and for-profit uh, corporation to produce power for British Columbians cheaper than BC HydroCat. And that's the sellout we're seeing here. Um, and the move by this government under the name of Green Power, which is a misnomer, uh, to, uh, to independent power production is a, is a move to privatizing a, a very valuable public resource called BC Hydro. These companies are getting leases along our rivers which can last up to 40 years. It's 40 years, it's a, it's a huge amount of time that they will have the control of our water resources. Platonic said very clearly that they are looking at using the snowpack, the melting snowpack, uh, as their renewable resource. We all know that there is global warming, we all know that there is going to be a lack of uh, a water in the future, and this, this should be a huge concern, both their control for so long, the government sellout on our water, our water rights and our licenses, and the, the concept that this is really a clean renewable resource. As I, Island MLAs, Claire and I are, are going to continue to work together on issues like this and uh, trying to protect the public interest, something that uh, um, whether it's uh, with uh, fish farms or whether it's uh, independent power production and privatization of our resources, um, uh, we'll be there to monitor and to fight for uh, public interest, something government is supposed to do and the Campbell government refuses to.